This tutorial is going to go over how to create the cubes, which represent snap cubes, that will go together to make the pieces in your Endover cube. For this tutorial and for all the tutorials that follow, it's my recommendation that you create your pieces, which make up your Endover cube, as if you are putting them together with snap cubes. A snap cube, if you measure the dimensions, has dimensions of three quarters of an inch by three quarters of an inch by three quarters of an inch. If you convert three quarters of an inch to decimals, it would be 75 hundredths. You're going to have to use 75 hundredths because Fab Lab Model Maker, the program that you'll be using, does not have fractions of an inch. To begin with, to create the first cube, which is represented as a snap cube, what you'll want to do is come over to the left hand side of the screen and click on the shape that if you hover over it, it says cuboid. So I'm going to click on it once. I'm going to come over to the 3D area and notice now I have some crosshairs. I'm going to click and hold the mouse and drag to create the base. When I release the mouse, I'm going to drag up to create the height. If I go back and select this by clicking on it with the mouse, you'll see I have dimensions right there. I'm not really particularly worried about the dimensions at this point. In a future tutorial, I'll show you how to change that. But for right now, this is the basic steps in creating a cube, which will represent a snap cube in the pieces that make up your Endover cube.